Nothing But The Words, episode number 137. Four reasons successful authors go on writer's retreats, and you should too. Hey there, and welcome to Nothing But The Words. I'm your book coach, Candace L. Davis. I hope your week and your writing are going exceptionally well. In this episode, you are going to discover why writer's retreats are so popular among successful authors, not just newbie authors, not just people who are trying to figure out how to write a book. Many, many successful authors use writer's retreats as a means to make progress in their book. And I'm going to tell you in this episode exactly why and how it could work for you. And you'll learn about an opportunity to attend a writer's retreat with me. Now, years ago, one of my writing mentors who led a paid workshop that I participated in for several years and it was worth every dime, she was amazing, won a prestigious award for her first novel. That award came with a significant monetary prize, but it also came with an opportunity for her to go away and write outside of her normal environment in a writer's retreat. When my mentor returned from that trip, she did not go on and on about all the money she'd won. Good money, but she did not spend most of her time with us talking about that. Instead, she went on and on about the joy and freedom of having expansive time and space to write. She raved about that writer's retreat and how it opened up space for her to get momentum on her next book. And from that moment on, I knew I wanted to start going on writer's retreats, which I did, and also to host some for writers eventually. Now, if you happen to listen to the previous episode, then you know I interviewed my friend and colleague, book coach and author, Anita Henderson, about her latest book. You might also have caught some mention of an upcoming writing retreat. A couple of years ago, Anita and I designed a writer's retreat for ourselves and one other author, technically two other authors because her husband also joined us. He too is an author, but Anita's husband, Michael, kindly spent his time making sure we were well-fed and well taken care of. So that was really wonderful. That trial run allowed us to test the waters and see what works best on a writer's retreat, what we would want to include, and what we would want to leave out. And now we're offering you the opportunity to go on a writer's retreat with us. We have locked in all the details. We haven't overlooked a single thing. Before I dive into the four important reasons you should consider a writer's retreat just as successful authors do, let me tell you just a little bit about ours. First of all, we're hosting the Rest, Restore, and Write Retreat on Amelia Island in Florida from November 11th to November 15th. The average daily temperatures that time of year on the island, 73 degrees. Pretty darn perfect for sitting outside on a porch swing or next to a fountain or biking down to the beach or biking into downtown, whatever it is that you decide to do on your writing retreat. It's a pretty perfect temperature for being outside and enjoying the environment that can be so inspirational when you're writing. Now, if you already know you want more information, you want to apply for your spot, you can find the writing retreat at candaceldavis.com slash retreat. We've chosen a traditional bed and breakfast. We waffled between hotels and Airbnbs and a bed and breakfast, but it was so important to us that every participant have their own private, comfortable room and bathroom. We are the kind of people who like our own space. We like to come together but we also like to have our own space and we want you to have your own space too. That way you will have privacy when you need it. You don't have to worry about getting dressed just to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. It really is a beautiful space. And Anita, who's my co-host for the retreat, has actually stayed there. So we have an insider's point of view. We know food can make or break your stay. And so Anita gave the breakfast at Williams House, which is included two thumbs up. In addition, The owner has told us she can meet any dietary restrictions our guests have. So if you're like me and your eating style is rather specific, if you're rather picky, this is a huge deal. So we're really excited to be able to offer that to all our guests. The property has porches and balconies and the kinds of nooks you can lose track of time in. You can sit in comfortably while you're writing your book. You you can sit in a space that makes you feel like you're all alone, even when there are other people in the building. And you can easily walk or bike to the downtown area to visit cute shops and restaurants. It's really pretty much a perfect spot for a writing retreat. So for this first retreat, we are inviting deep thinking women writers to join us. I have personally coached a lot of men. I know Anita has too. We enjoy working with men. But for this retreat, 
we really want to gather a group of women for a few reasons. It may not look like it when you pick up your favorite books, but women continue to be underrepresented as authors. As my client Lamar Tyler wrote in his first, or one of his first books, I'm not sure if it was the first one, the gatekeepers are gone. You do not need a publisher to grant you permission to write and publish your book, but women still on average get smaller advances for their books than men when they take the traditional route. Women are still underrepresented as authors in way too many categories, and women are still embarrassingly underrepresented on the bestseller list for a host of reasons, and it's not because we can't write. Some of my clients publish independently, but others go the traditional route, and I want them to have the best possible chance to succeed. I'm committed to the success of all my coaching clients, and I want to see women thrive at the same level as men in this field. Anita and I also realized there's a certain sisterhood vibe created when women support women. And that's what we're looking for on this retreat. That's what we're creating on this retreat. So a beautiful location with great food and women collaborating for success. Now, my husband is a professor at a college here in Atlanta, and they kick off every new year with the faculty retreat. In fact, it happened this very week. I tease him relentlessly because the retreat typically takes place on campus the same location where these hardworking professors go to work every day. By my definition, that's not a retreat, <laughs> which brings us to the number one reason why successful authors go on writer's retreats, and you should too. Reason number one. These are not rank in rank order. They're all pretty good reasons. So reason number one is a new space, a novel space, and a distraction-free environment to spark your creativity. Getting away from your everyday environment, escaping the usual demands of your time, and putting yourself in a new physical and mental space are, to me, essential to any retreat, which is why I don't know why you would have it at your office. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. I do know why. It's a cost factor, but there's nothing wrong with creating a retreat right in your home or, in the case of my husband's college, right where you work. There's nothing wrong with it. I have done it myself, and I'm sure I will do it again in the future, but going into a new space provides new opportunities to tap into your creativity and focus on your writing. Much of writing is thinking, and that can be very difficult to do in the noisiness of the world we live in. Uninterrupted time to write is a necessity, but if your life is filled with work and caring for kids or aging parents and running a business and social obligations and volunteer commitments and all the other responsibilities of being a human in community with other humans, Escaping to a retreat can sometimes be the only way you'll ever finish your book. It really is an opportunity to step out of your normal workaday world and just focus on your work. Reason number two why success successful authors attend writing retreats, and you should too, creative energy flows and grows from the company you keep. So I've gotten two neuroscience coaching certificates over the last few years, and I really geeked out on what I learned about creativity and productivity. I understand that these are coaching certificates. I am far from a neuroscientist. We just learned some of the essentials of how the brain works and how we can use that to help our coaching clients. And neuroscience studies have shown us that you will often be more productive if you work in an environment where you can see other people being productive, even if you don't talk to those people, even if you don't know those people. Spending time with other writers inspires you to write. Spending time with other creators inspires you to create. Just being in the presence of other people who are focused and making progress makes it much easier for you to focus and make progress. At the Rest, Restore, and Write retreat, you will have the opportunity to escape to a space where you can write in complete solitude, if that's what you choose, or you can sit down in a quiet, shared space and get to work. It's completely up to you. Reason number three, why successful authors can attend writer's retreats, and you should too, feedback from professionals. Progress isn't really progress if you're headed in the wrong direction. And even if you're writing exactly what you should be writing, listen, this applies to you, but it applies to me. It applies to everyone. You're too close to your own work to see where the strengths lie and where you have opportunity for improvement. That's the kind of feedback I paid for from my mentors, and it's the kind of feedback available to you on this retreat. 
At the end of each day of writing, you will have an opportunity to share some of your pages with the group or with one or both of your book coaches for feedback. It is not required. This is totally optional, but it's an incredible chance to get real-time feedback on where you should go deeper in your writing, what you might want to cut, how the writing flows, or whatever else comes up in that session. You don't have to get feedback on your pages on the retreat, but it is such a powerful experience when you do. And reason number four, why successful authors participate in writers' retreats, and you should too, the support and guidance of experienced professionals. So even if you don't want to get feedback, having the support of someone who can help you when you need it is super important. The best writing retreats are led by knowledgeable, experienced people who care about your success. In this case, that would be us, book coaches Anita Henderson and Candace L. Davis. We do care. We care very deeply about the success of each one of our clients, and we will be there to provide one-on-one -on -one coaching each day for those who want it. We've each worked in publishing in various capacities for almost two decades, and we've coached dozens and dozens of wonderful authors to write and publish exceptional books that make a real and positive impact on their communities. Speaking just for myself, I've coached authors to write books that have sold tens of thousands of copies with or without a traditional book deal. And I've coached authors to write book proposals that landed six-figure advances. In my past life as a ghostwriter, I don't do much of that these days, I also wrote more than 30 books for my clients, some traditionally published and others independently published. So we bring our experience to this retreat and we are happy to share that experience with you. Some writers retreats offer seminars or classes, which can be great, especially great for very new writers who still need to master some of the basics. That's not what this is. We will not be teaching classes per se, but we really want you to have the time and the energy to write rather than sit in a class. Throughout the day, though, you won't ever have to sit in a feeling of being stuck. We'll be there to help you if you get stuck. At Rest, Restore, and Write, Anita and I will be available for private coaching each day. You do not have to get coached by us. <laughs> I don't think everyone wants to necessarily get coached by us in that circumstance because some people just want to put their heads down and write. But we will be there if you need us, if you need us to help you get unstuck or if you need us to help you make a plan. It's our job to make sure you don't lose time to writer's block, imposter syndrome, confusion, or a lack of that plan. If you decide you want to attend the retreat, you will notice we ask you to fill out a brief application. This is because we care deeply about the environment we are creating and the value you can get from it. Now, the retreat is appropriate for fiction writers, poets, nonfiction writers of most kinds, including memoirists and authors of personal development and professional development books, narrative nonfiction. All of those things would be appropriate for the writer's retreat. And we have coached authors in all of those different categories. The application is there just in case someone is writing an obscure kind of book we don't think we can support them with. And it's also there to weed out any material that might violate any of our policies, such as our inclusion policy. If you're listening to this episode and you're excited about the possibility of stepping away from the busyness of everyday life and work and really focusing on your book, really making progress, getting some momentum so that you can finish your book, visit CandiceLDavis.com slash retreat. The link is in your episode notes on your podcast player. We have already filled the first spaces. They went to writers we know are thinking deeply about their books, writers we know personally, <laughs> and who are frankly a joy to spend time with. We would love for you to be one of the people who filled the remaining rooms. It doesn't matter if you're at the beginning of the writing process or you're doing a final polish on your manuscript. Rest, Restore, and Write will provide you the time and space and support to make more progress than you might expect you could make in just a few days. If you want to write a book proposal before the end of the year, if you want to finally map out a solid plan for your book and get started writing the chapters, if you want the support of experienced book coaches who coach their clients to get results, and the support of a small group of women with similar goals, you belong at Rest, Restore, and Write. Find out more and secure your spot at CandiceLDavis.com slash retreat. 
That's all for this week's episode, friends. Thanks for listening to Nothing But The Words. I'm your book coach, Candace L. Davis, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.